Well, my name is Bill Perry, and uh, I've been living in Oxford uh, since 1987. And uh, I essentially became a professional musician around 1993 here in Oxford. And uh, since that time, I've been playing around in various areas throughout the South, and I've gotten a chance to play abroad. Uh, played in Hong Kong and uh, played in Jakarta, Indonesia, and numerous festivals and a whole bunch of uh, club dates and various events. I'm just essentially your all-around guy when it comes to performing at this time. All right, well, let me see. All the musics that I dabble in uh, are jazz, blues, R&B, soul, funk, hip-hop. I don't know why I'm saying hip-hop later. Hip-hop was actually where I got started out in, and then I became a pianist, uh, like I say, around 93. And uh, I would say more or less that Jazz piano is kind of my forte at this point, but uh, I'm open to all genres. I even do electronica stuff from dubstep to you know, all kind of electronica stuff as well. Uh, some verses, all right, let me see. Uh, all right. Thinking that you're top notch, you broke into the pop charts, you drive through your neighborhood, get your car stoned by rocks, no respect given because of the roots that you forgot. And ain't that rotten? People rather see your butt in a coffin. Ain't that often that people pause for idolization? Prime creation, you're not, so stop the faking. You never can, never can, never can look at upon yourself to look within, but now you're a lost soul with no one to listen. A little bit of hip hop. Nice. <laughs> my dad, who's essentially my biggest influence in music, uh, Bill Howlin' Matt Perry, he's a blues musician who was born here in Lafayette County in Tula, Mississippi. And uh, he's been making a lot of headways in the blues world, uh, getting a lot of accolades and everything from numerous organizations and stuff. Uh, he's just recently been uh, put on the uh, blues marker, blues trail marker here in Oxford, Mississippi on the square. And uh, he's been involved in numerous things. He was in a film with Cuba Gooding Jr. called The Way of War. He's been on Family Jewels, all kind of different stuff. You know, my, my dad, he's, he's really prolific in everything in music. And my sister, she is a bass keyboardist as well as a singer-songwriter. And uh, she's been performing professionally about as long as myself. Uh, when we started the family band in 1993, the Perrys, we essentially became professionals at the same time. And I highly respect and admire my sister for her diligence and keeping her thing going on. And uh, yeah, that's about it right there. Uh, for the most part, when I create music, uh, it usually comes to me late night. Um, just, you know, contemplating things that's happened throughout the day. Uh, as most artists know, you know, inspiration, you know, happens at many times throughout the day. But uh, for me, it usually happens at night, being really contemplative and uh, taking in my day, taking in the week, the year, and so on, and uh, letting that be my muse. Uh, well, choosing the square, being outside, uh, that was more of a mastermind of Gabriel. And, um, you know, we was essentially talking about doing some kind of video, some, uh, some kind, and she essentially was saying that maybe we could do it outside because we was thinking about maybe doing it indoors. So, you know, just kind of dabbling ideas and then she came up with the idea of just doing it outside and uh, saying that we would have a piano set up and then, uh, you know, my good friend Tim and stuff apparently was also good in with this idea, Tim Burkhead. And uh, so there it is and that's how I ended up being here. <laughs> Am I easily starstruck? Uh, not so far, no. Uh, I've gotten a chance to meet a lot of celebrities in this and uh, you know from the likes of Morgan Freeman to B.B. King, uh, oh, just numerous names. I don't want to sit here and name drop a lot of people but I haven't been starstruck so far. I think maybe when I meet Herbie Hancock maybe I'll be a little on edge but uh, no, no, I'm not easily starstruck. Wow, favorite show. <laughs> Set it up for us. Make it uh, let me see. I, I wouldn't necessarily say this was my favorite show, but it was definitely a very interesting show. Some years ago, back with uh, my old hip hop jazz group called Nickel Jazz Project. This was back in the 90s, and uh, we had a, a gig where we had, I don't know man, about maybe 200 people at this house party. It was a big house party we were playing at, and we were playing on this stage, like this, like, well, or like a, we was playing on a porch kind of deal, a wooden porch. So we're all rocking out and everybody's rocking out on the stage and the stage like dropped like five feet. Plop, 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 and everything's going on. Everybody froze for a second. All the musicians, we all looked at each other and just started jamming all over again. Everybody got back to rocking. It was like something straight out of a movie. That one has stuck out in my head, but it's not my favorite gig, you know, but it was definitely a fun gig to remember. I mean, I would say check out the Oxford music scene in general, you know, and uh, cause it's a very prolific and upcoming scene. 
Uh, it's actually been around, you know, um, and uh, doing its thing for a while, but the scene is producing a lot of new artists um, from bands like Zugma, you know, those guys are really starting to make some headway. And then, you know, a lot of my close friends are doing their own thing, putting out their own products like Rocket 88, um, you know, as far as on the uh, hard rock edge of things, you know, Tyler Keith, uh, oh, just numerous cats, uh, the AM band, Cadillac Funk, you know, um, I, you know, I, I can name drop forever, man. There's just a lot of things to check out in the scene. I would just say initially to check out the Oxford music scene. Okay, I will say this and uh, just let people just leave it up to their imagination. Now, it has been rumored that uh, there was a time that I was known to barely be uh, really wild around here and stuff in and, 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 and my younger years. And I hopped on every single building rooftop on the square on a really crazy night with some friends. And only my old school friends know that one. Uh, as far as how that was inspired, that's another story. Are you the next Batman? <laughs> well, I'm definitely not Robin, so let's say that. My name is Bill Perry, and this has been my Oxford Sessions.